So we're here at the Genia Tech with the Android 5. Yeah, hello, this is Mike Decker, VP Sales and Marketing at Genia Tech. We are here today to get some insight again about Genia Tech and about the development, what we're doing on Android 5. Android 5 is a pretty amazing thing for us and a, an astonishing thing and boosting up our business. So therefore we put a lot of efforts and a lot of R&D inside of it to make it work on all our platforms. Um, besides, we do go deeper into the presentation of the, our actual designs. <clears throat> we coming back on that. Let's move over to a little bit to the roadmap to have some further studies. Uh, what we are doing here uh, at Genia Tech uh, to have some feeling about what is our strategy on Android 5. So overall, the availability of the AOP is already there. So as we are quite addicted to AM logic itself, we have the full lineup and the startup integration from the quad-core design. So all quad-core designs will be supported by Android 5 on demand as our OEM or ODM customers like to do it. So therefore, just to get a feeling, we have box designs and we have dongle designs. <coughs> and therefore, MLogic supporting up the S805, S802, 1.2, and even something totally new which comes up. Just a little step inside, S805 runs today Android 5.0, <coughs> based on different kind of uh, feature set, anything up to 1080p, even with HEVC support up to 60 frames per second, but again only up to 1080p. Here we have the S802 uh, designs already available in the market since a long time. Last year, April, is announced and launched, runs into full volume production. There we have some, even I think, eight models that just mentioned here, the 582 and the 1600 series and the dongle design 1H2. <coughs> Coming to the launch of now, about S812, there we launch two models like this, 386 and 1660. The beauty of this here is definitely 4K HEVC with 30 frames per second, so anything can run out there with HEVC. Wonderful. And the beauty is, which comes in the second half of this year, it's 60 frames per second, 4K, uh, and HDMI 2.0, and even with the opportunity and options about HDMI in three times. So on the dongle design, we step over into it. We see a little bit <coughs> that we're doing quite a lot because it's a low power design. It runs an ARM A5, which is the beauty of it. It really can run just with 5 volt and 500 milliampere. No need for any kind of power supply to do so. <coughs> Let's move over a little, little bit to our designs we're doing here. Um, just making a further explanation on that, on the design part, on the electrical bundle. You see, we talked a little bit about the, <coughs> the um, S805 designs. This is the smallest quad-core design you can even imagine, low power. It just needs 5 volt, and it runs everything up to 1080p, even HEVC in hardware and decoding. So. So this is Android 5, right there? Yeah, this is a, the, the smallest Android 5 HEVC dongle you can even imagine about. Yeah, you nice. can read it quite easily. You see? Very nice, very simple. And it has a dual band Wi-Fi on it, and also a Bluetooth 4.0 LE. Can you imagine? So small it is. That's a really compact way to get uh, ultimate smart TV upgrade. Yeah. With regards to Android 5.0, TV getting smarter. All these, let's say, uh, TV uh, installed bases, which already run a certain kind of smart capabilities, gives the ability to run certain kind of services, video on demand, IPTV, OTT services. But it's fragmented, it's not clear. With Android 5.0, it gets a big boost. We can use application as services. Every customer gets the freedom to install what is necessary. So it boosts up the total business. Now gets really smart. Smart means smart run as your service you might like it. That might be also a very interesting item. And this a big boost also for uh, uh, applications and games. Yeah, looking into the gamification of the whole smart TV environment, just a little bit looking back and recap what we have, there was 340, 400,000 uh, games Android games available, but mainly for the mobile platform. And now with this Android 5.0 and Android TV, there is a bunch of new category. It's now started. 
only for TV, not only that video and OTT and uh, video on demand service. Now the classification also becomes to TV games. So that gives an other an alter alternative opportunity for the customer to run applications and entertainments, even games in a full category. And we're expecting this year a couple of thousand fantastic games which are capable to run in a home environment, in a home entertainment. Optimize for joystick control on a TV. Yes, absolutely. All joysticks should be directly out of the box working with Android 5.0. Therefore, we make this. Just looking back more into the different form factor, as I told you, here we have our newest design <coughs> based on S802. Let's just have a look at the chips that you see it here. Just some orientation, guys, here. We have the memory here. <coughs> we have the SD card slot. We have two USBs. Here's the chipset itself. We have a digital out, we have analog out, we have a gigabit LAN, and we do carry HDMI out 1.4a. <coughs> this is a power socket. But you see how compact it already is. It's already in mass production stage, now getting into volume <coughs> shipments in after Chinese New Year. So this is a HEVC hardware decode 4K ultra compact Android 5 experience. Yes, definitely. It's uh, anything what you can imagine, including HEVC 4K, 30 frames per second. You can play back on any TV, which is uh, capable to do so. For sure, any TV which is not playback 4K TV would be also displayed, but uh, up to the resolution which is available on TV. And there's yeah. uh, it says Google Cast right there. So now there's uh, uh, basically Chromecast protocol support. Yeah, what, what, what Google did, that it really did a beauty job that uh, Chrome, uh, Google Cast, actually Chromecast, it's, it's, it's included directly into the stack itself. So it means every device which comes with Android 5.0 and Android TV implemented by Geniatech runs directly Chromecast as well. So the beauty of that use cases are already implemented and uh, <coughs> Uh, can be used by the customer itself. Can we see a little bit more of the UI? So th this is a work in progress right now, right? You're, you're in the early stages of uh, optimizing Android 5? Yeah, we're in the early stages. Let's say we're already working since six weeks, eight weeks on it, almost now. And if you think we need to run another, let's say, ah, eight, eight to ten weeks to make it mature, to deploy it to our customer. We already started the migration path for it. To, this we do together for sure with AIM Logic. They have developers on their side and we have developers on, on our side to working very close in uh, collaboration with these guys. And this is material design, UI, yeah. this is a this material is new. design from Google. This is an, actually the Android TV uh, launcher which is available from Google and from the ASOP itself. You can see, you can move around easily, very simple to, to navigate and run around. And if you look here, you also here, we see even very easy to access even connectivity itself. So what's the beauty of all this is it makes accommodation, makes it simple, easy of use. It's a very big boost for this. It makes every system smart. Voice search. Voice search, it's a very interesting item. We already implemented it and showed it at CES. Voice search is a very easy of use. The people like uh, already introduced by Amazon Fire TV, but now it comes to any kind of one of our boxes, which is run Android 5.0. We just type in and speak, and then it, the device searches for that what we did. And it's cross services, means not only for keywords, on websites, it also cross to the um, <coughs> content you might need to look for it. Nice, so totally Android 5 on every platform that mm -hmm. you have right now. Yep. So uh, your engineers are really busy in getting it to work. So Well, besides the fact that we are before Chinese New Year, honestly speaking, what we can do, we can just walk around and we can look what the engineers are doing. They are pretty busy with that, what we're doing. So this is your headquarters right here in Shenzhen? Yeah, Chenzen. that's uh, really, we have the overseas sales department and system engineering here coming over here. Yeah. Just say hello to everybody. <laughs> Uh, here we have product management. Uh, here we have software engineering, software design tools, which working on the collaboration of the design of the UIs itself. 
Then we move over to the hardware department, and then we come here to, to see working progress. Here the people are working very hard, and what we like to do yeah. is to, to introduce you to Judy, uh, our firmware manager. <laughs> Just come by. <laughs> So may I introduce to Hi, Judy? Judy? Judy, what are you doing in our company? Uh, the software product manager. Mm -hmm. So you're working mainly on the firmware customization and the product quality itself and also into the integration of the different use cases the customers working on. Yes, we, we built a lot of uh, ODM, OEM customized firmware. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's quite interesting. So how far you are with your team involved into the Android 5 integration. Mm -hmm. We have a we have a better better 5.0 version yeah. right now. Yeah. yeah. So we're already working six almost six weeks on that path, right? Yeah. Yeah. And how you think the progress is quite good? Mm, yeah. It's, uh, currently, it's it's stable. I think we also demo it on CES. On CES, yeah, we will demo it also on the so, uh, <coughs> thank you very much, Judy, for talking cool. about this. Yeah? Cool. Thanks a lot okay. for showing around yeah. uh, your R&D area. You see all our developers working quite organized on that part yes. to see to make things working for our customers. Cool. So, looking forward to crazy, stable Android 5 products. Yeah, we're looking forward to Q2 to roll out and deploy it to our customers. Android 5 is really a boost. Thank you very much.